It takes three presses, 48 hours, to churn out the two million copies of TV guides sold each week in the southeast. And for one in every three Atlanta homes, it's the television Bible. The issue on the presses today contains listings for the week of August 30th. But while the presses are rolling here, the cameras in Hollywood are not. The continuing actor strike has shut down production of the new fall TV series that were to premiere after September 1st on the three major networks. The actors are holding out for more money from future showings of their work on pay television. That leaves the fall schedule up in the air, and TV Guide editors are... Sitting around waiting to hear. Waiting to hear just what is going to be on the air in a few weeks, because nobody really knows. The networks waited as long as they could, and now they're going to have to come up with scheduling that a few months ago was totally unanticipated. So you're waiting, and we're waiting, and the public is. In anticipation of a long strike, the networks have gone to press with tentative schedules of reruns made for TV movies and shows like real people that are not affected by the strike. But the situation in Atlanta is even more confusing because channels 2 and 11 are swapping networks. Well, I think people will have to refer to some source somewhat more often to see where their favorite shows have gone. All of the confusion means a lot more work for people who put out magazines like this one, but they don't seem to mind because when viewers are confused about what's on television, they buy a lot more magazines. At Foot and Davies Printing Plant in Doraville, Terry Anzer, Action News.